Hi guys, thank you so much for watching my channel. I just wanna make a quick announcement and give a shout out to my sponsor, Keen, who made this video possible. Keen is a platform that connects you with psychics and intuitives who can assist you in a wide variety of topics, including finances and love. The cool thing about Keen is that there's psychics online 24 seven. So if you're a night owl like myself, you can still get your questions answered. They also only have a call and chat option. So it's great for introverts who maybe struggle with face-to-face -face interaction. Keen has helped me find so much clarity in my life and I really love what they're doing, providing a safe space for intuitives to make their money, but also for people to entrust their money with these intuitives because if you've been on my channel for a while, you know how much I love to complain about all of the fraud that happens in this community. But I think it's great. I think what Keen is doing is fantastic and I'm 100% supportive of course because I took on this opportunity to partner with them. It's the perfect website for people who are new to personal readings and may be a little bit hesitant to invest a ton of money into their first reading. So if you want to try Keen today, you can go ahead and use my link down in the description box below, try Keen slash Madam, and get your first 10 minute reading for only $1.99 after signing up. Thank you so much for supporting this channel and let's get into your reading. Hi Leo, this is your May 2021 mid-month love reading. My name is Hannah, welcome to my channel. And it's such an honor to be a part of your wondrous experience today. So we're gonna look into your energy first and then we'll be exploring the energy of your person or any projected new people that may be coming in during the month of May. So Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. In the month of May in love, Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in love for this month. Let go of control issues. So it seems as though there's been something here that's been kept on the down low. For some of you, it's some feelings that you have for someone. And I think for some of you, like this is maybe a new person because you do have playfulness. So this feels very young, kind of flirtatious, could be with a Virgo. Um, yeah, you have King of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So. I'm feeling like this is something not um, super serious, to be completely honest with you. I feel like this is maybe something that has maybe not left the workplace. Like I'm feeling for some of you like a workplace romance, but like it hasn't left the workplace. It's still very young. It's still very kind of exciting and fun with the playfulness. It's very much just like flirting. It's not, for some of you, it hasn't gone much deeper than that, but you really like this person is what I'm seeing. I feel like you complement each other very well. And for some of you, like you might be trying to control your feelings with the let go of control issues. And then I also had the moon at the bottom of the deck when I first started shuffling. So this kind of gave me the impression that some of you are trying to keep a handle on your feelings. Because maybe for some of you, like you don't want to mess up the friendship or something like that or you don't want to mess up what you already have with this person. Clarify the let go of control issues for Leo in the month of May. Ah, okay, this makes sense. So you have the 10 of swords here, which is also everything is fine. Um, what I'm picking up here is that some of you have been duped before, <laughs> um, maybe by this person, maybe not. I don't think by this person, to be honest. I feel like it's somebody else. Um, and it's kind of like, you're still in this energy of the 10 of swords. So some of you like may not even have the energy to invest into this new person. And that's kind of why like some of you may feel the need to keep a handle on your emotions because it's like, well, I don't even know if I have the emotions to give this person because I've just been so depleted like for some of you like you've been drugged through the mud but i think some of you are willing to try again with the eight of pentacles like you really want to work on building something with this person or or make the effort because for some of you like it is a lot of work to put into you know cultivating another relationship with someone but i think you're willing to put in that effort with the eight of pentacles like you're willing to make something um willing to work to make something right or to make something happen with the magician. I feel like some of you guys are really gonna be taking action towards this lover this month. Yeah, cause somebody here wants a new beginning with you. And this could be somebody new just wanting to start something with you. Cause I feel like for a lot of you, this is somebody new. I mean, it could be someone from your past, but I really do believe that this is a new person. 
So your person is coming up as attraction. Now, I'm definitely seeing there is a strong attraction for you here. Um, this person could really like the way that like you smell or like the way that you look. There's a very strong physical attraction here and that's kind of why I feel like this is something new. This doesn't feel like something very deep. Yeah, you have eight of cups. So it's like, I don't think that there's a lot of deeper emotions in this connection for a lot of you. I mean, of course, it'll vary for each of you because this is a general reading. But I do feel like there is somebody here who really likes the way that you feel. Like they like to maybe touch your hair or they like the feeling of your skin. They like the way that you smell, the way that you taste. Okay, we're not going to get into that in this reading, but you know what I mean, guys. For some of you, like they don't even know how you taste, but they're imagining. Okay, they're imagining with the magician. Um, I feel like this person definitely has a lot of fantasies and they definitely do think about that a lot. <laughs> So I, I also think that this is both of you. I don't think it's just you or just them. Yeah, Eight of Cups. So I feel like there is definitely some kind of energy of like not wanting feelings here. Or for some of you, this person could have recently gotten out of a relationship especially if you're dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. I feel like some of you are connecting with somebody who recently got out of a relationship that they possibly tried to amend like multiple times. I'm seeing somebody who continuously tries to work on their relationship and make it work like multiple times and it just didn't work. So they left the relationship and they've possibly come into contact with you. Um, and there's a very deep and passionate energy between the two of you, but I almost feel like some of you are maybe wondering if this person still has feelings for their ex. And I'm just going to tell you right now, it's dead and gone, honey. <laughs> it is dead and gone. You don't need to worry about the ex, okay? Um, I'm hearing been there, done that, not going to do it again. Like somebody here is done because they've tried many, many times. They've tried to make it work and it just didn't work. So now they're walking away from this connection and they're possibly um, being called in by you. I'm hearing step into my office. Okay, that's what I'm picking up. So somebody here could be connecting with a boss um, or with somebody who works in their office. I don't know, I, I really get the vibe of a workplace relationship and it's like somebody here doesn't want it to turn into anything. Like they're having to walk away from their feelings because um, they don't want to kind of ruin the professionalism or they don't want to ruin the hard work that's been put into maybe the professional relationship that you have. You know what I mean? Or the, the friendship that you've developed. Because I'm seeing for some of you, like you've known this person for years. You know, you may have known this person for a while. Like it may not even be like a new person. It might just be like a new love with someone who you've always kind of had a connection with. Um... And it seems like, you know, maybe you've gotten to a place where you've really worked hard on making this relationship something strong and solid. And, you know, you don't want to ruin that. So I'm seeing somebody here walking away from their feelings or at least um, not being the most emotionally expressive because of this. But that doesn't mean they don't have feelings. But like I said, I feel like somebody's trying to keep a handle on their feelings. And for some of you, like, you may be connecting with somebody who, you know, you're confused. You're wondering, like, is this person still attracted to their ex? And I really, really don't think that this person is. Like, I'm being 100% real with you. I don't think that this person is still connecting with their ex. And I feel like that might even be why some of you are in this kind of Ten of Swords energy where you're kind of trying to put your feelings out or you're trying to shut your feelings out because you're wondering. You're like, is this person still into their past person? Should I even invest because like, are they just gonna leave me for their ex? You know what I mean? That's kind of like the questions that some of you are asking yourself, but no guys, like I'm telling you, um, the past person is Dunskis. Whoever this person's ex is, like they, they really did your person wrong. That's all I'm gonna say with the 10 of swords. And I almost feel like your person may try to downplay it and try to say like, oh, like 
they're a good person, you know, like they were just being themselves, they were just being a human, you know, like it's, with the everything is fine, it either feels like you or someone that you know is trying to downplay a betrayal. Like trying to say like, oh, well, it wasn't really that big of a deal. But it was. Because you really had to rebuild or somebody really had to rebuild themselves from this betrayal. Clarify this Ten of Swords, please, and the Eight of Pentacles for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. The Chariot, interesting. So this is a really good energy. And the Eight of Pentacles again. So yeah, once again, I feel like you or your person, someone here has moved on from a past person, like completely, completely. You may have even left where you were living because I'm hearing where somebody here was like abusive. Like you may have been dealing with a very controlling partner, especially if you lived with this person um, and you may have like lived in another city or something like that, or you may have lived in like a different part of town with them and you possibly had to physically leave the location of wherever this person was because they were either abusive or like, I'm hearing somebody was fearing for their life. Like that's kind of what I'm picking up with the chariot and the everything is fine card, but it's like someone here was downplaying the crap out of somebody's actions. Like, oh, he only hit me once. You know, like that kind of energy. It's like, it's actually really bad. Like really bad. He shouldn't have hit you at all. Let's be real. Um, and it's kind of like, oh, but I've moved on from it. Like, oh, it's not that big of a deal anymore. Like somebody who just tries to really downplay something that doesn't need to be downplayed. Like, Leo, if you've dealt with any kind of abuse or any kind of controlling behavior within your relationships, like you need to shine some light on that shit, like right now. <laughs> and, and really kind of um, shift up your thinking a little bit because I really think that either you or someone that you're dealing with has dealt with abuse in the recent past and um, like they're, they're trying to downplay it or you're trying to downplay it and it's not something that needs to be downplayed. Like this was a very serious situation and some of you are not taking it seriously and you need to because you're not going to heal if you don't or this person's not going to heal if they don't. So I do feel where there is possibly a hesitation because of that. Like somebody has been broken, guys. Like I'm really getting the impression of someone who's been broken especially if you're dealing with a Cancer or maybe an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Um, and they're just trying to rebuild themselves, or maybe this is you. You're trying to rebuild yourself after some kind of very detrimental and tragic ending within a past relationship. I mean, tragic, guys. Like, I'm talking physical abuse, fearing for somebody's life. Like, I'm hearing I had to leave or they were going to kill me. Like, that kind of energy. That's what that everything is fine card is telling me with the chariot. It's like somebody here who had to take their kids and leave because somebody was unhinged. Like somebody was unhinged and they were literally going to commit murder. Like it's very serious. And somebody's not taking it seriously. And they need to because it is serious. It's very serious. Um, but yeah, yeah, I definitely see where there is a hesitation because of that. But once again, I think that there is somebody here who just wants to very much nurture you or you want to nurture this person, but they may not be letting you. Like somebody here doesn't want to be taken care of or you might not let somebody take care of you. And it comes from that trauma. Like somebody here, you know, had somebody who was very controlling and it's like now because of that, they don't want people to do nice things for them. So for some of you, like you may be taking this person's actions the wrong way. Like you might be saying like, oh, well, maybe they're not attracted to me. Like that's why they don't want me doing nice things for them. Because for some of you, this is your love language. You like to express through being very generous. That's a Leo thing. You guys are very, very generous. I love it. I love Leo energy. Come give it to me, guys. I love Leos. <laughs> um, but you guys are very, very generous people and you're very loving people. So I think one of your love languages is being very giving. And whenever you try to give to this person, they possibly shut down all of your advances or they shut down all of your attempts. And it's really because once again, like I feel like this person is just so damaged. Like they've been so drug, sorry, dragged through the mud that they just like don't even want people doing nice things for them anymore because it's kind of like in their mind, they're wondering like, what's the catch? You know what I mean? Or this could be you. You could be wondering, like, what's the catch? 
you know, if I if I give to this person, like what's what's the catch for me? Are they going to hold it over my head? Because I'm seeing where some of you either have dealt with somebody in the past or you're currently dealing with somebody who's who has a past person that like held a lot of things over their head and said like, oh, well, I did this for you. So now you have to do this for me. Very conditional, like very conditional love, like not unconditional. So you're dealing with somebody who's been pretty much programmed here to believe that love is conditional and that in order to um, receive, you must give, right? Like this person doesn't allow themselves to just receive. So you may find it hard for this person to like want, no, you may find it difficult to give to this person. Like they're not gonna let you give to them super easily. Eight of Cups again, interesting. You have the Eight of Pentacles twice and the Eight of Cups twice. So you could be seeing the number eight quite a bit. And then you have the Page of Cups. So interesting, interesting, interesting. What is happening here, Leo? So... I'm seeing somebody who you've once turned down in the past, you might have a new beginning with in the month of May. Because you have the Eight of Cups twice, and then you have the Page of Cups. So for some of you, it could be that work relationship that I was talking about where, you know, you've always been very attracted to one another, but you've always kind of like held those emotions back because of the air of professionalism that you're trying to keep, or maybe the friendship that you're trying to keep. Maybe this person is your boss with the emperor. But for some of you, like, they look at you on social media, you look at them. I'm even seeing somebody who, like, goes to somebody's house. I don't know. Very interesting energy. Like, somebody who shows up to... I don't know. Okay, this is a very, very specific message. So this, if this is not for you, don't take it. But there's somebody here who's dealing with their boss and your boss may have gone into like the employee files or something like that or gone into um, like some kind of um, database of information where like your records are kept and they may have found your number through there or they may have found your address and they might have like drone past your house. Yeah, that's that's weird. They may they may have found like your your phone number to text you or they may have found like your home address and they might be like doing drive bys or calling you or giving you a phone call or something like that. I don't know. I'm just seeing somebody who goes into some kind of record. They go into some kind of um, database and they find your information through this database. And it doesn't even have to be a boss. Like it can just be anybody. And they find your information and they possibly send you a text or give you a call based on the information that they find in this database. But once again, like I think somebody who you've turned down in the past you're gonna be giving another chance to this person. I really, really do. Um, and it's not like you turn them down because you didn't like them. Like it feels like you may have turned them down because there was something here. I, I feel like because you didn't wanna mess something up or there was something here that didn't, I don't know. It's weird, it's weird. Especially for those of you who are dealing with work-related relationships, it's like, Somebody who didn't want to mess up the professionalism or didn't want to mess something up. It's like some of you have tried to go and find new love. Like you've tried to walk away from this person and you've tried to disconnect from them and you've tried to seek elsewhere for romantic connections but for whatever fucking reason you continue to cycle back around to this person they just continue to pop up that's what i'm picking up because it's not even that like you're trying to do this like you're not intentionally keeping yourself in a cycle you just happen to bump into them you know what i mean it's like with the eight of cups coming up with the page of cups it feels like i don't know like I, it feels like somebody who walked away from something very stable only to be cycled back around into this person's reality to start again. Because this person's a soulmate, for sure. 
And I'm seeing when maybe when you last connected with this person, it might have been after they got out of like a very detrimental relationship. And now like there's been some time that's passed. And maybe they're not as damaged anymore. Maybe they've like found some kind of um, help. They've moved on a little bit from this or something like that. Because I don't know. It feels like that might have even been that might have even been the energy that caused you to walk away and disconnect. Was like you were wondering, like, does this person have somebody else? And I feel like some of you guys are going to be receiving clarity from that, which is going to allow you to completely leave this idea of any past person behind, especially if you're dealing with somebody who has an ex. Like, I feel like you were worried about the ex. I don't think that this is you having an ex. I mean, it could be, and then your person could be the one that's worried about the ex. But I feel like you might be worried about somebody's ex, or you may have at one point been worried about somebody's ex, and you're going to be seeing clarity Maybe it comes through a friend um, or through like a coworker or something. You're going to be see seeing some kind of clarity that like this ex or this particular person that you were worried about, you don't need to be worried about them, like in the slightest, like at all. And I think that this is going to be making you feel empowered and it's going to cause you to take action towards somebody, even though it might be a little bit hard, even though there is maybe some challenges associated with this. Um, or maybe there's some kind of shame associated with this. I don't know. Um, regardless, I feel like you are taking action towards somebody. And I feel like for some of you, like it's, you may have ended things with this person, like on kind of a bad note is what I feel like with the 10 of, 10 of swords and the eight of cups being present twice. It's like you may have been so afraid of this ex or you may have been so like afraid of this past person or just like so worried about it that you ended things kind of abruptly. And like that might even also be the Ten of Swords was like maybe there was some kind of ending here that was not adequate, right? It wasn't the best ending. Um, so that could even be why that Ten of, Ten of Wands was there was like there's some kind of shame affiliated with like reconnecting with this person and then you do have reconciliation under the let your friends help you so some of you are going to definitely be reconciling and it comes through a friend like once again you may be in a friend group with this person and like maybe another one of your friends says hey you know so and so is you know they've been talking about you a lot and all of this stuff like how are you doing how are you are you thinking about them you know what i mean and then you're just like oh yeah i've been thinking about them a lot actually but i don't know how to approach them Right, I'm because I'm hearing like somebody whose tail is between their legs, guys. I don't know if this is you or if this is another fire sign that you're dealing with, but somebody's got their tail between their legs, um, and that that might be why there's kind of a hesitation to reach out and to reconnect. But I do see a definite reconciliation happening with somebody who, at one point, you had a very strong. I think you still have a very strong attraction for. I think they still have a very strong attraction for you. I think maybe you've tried to let this person go many, many times, but it's failed every single time <laughs> with the Ten of Swords and the let go of control issues and the Eight of Pentacles twice. Like you've possibly tried multiple times to move on from this person. And for whatever reason, like you just can't. They're still in your energy field. You still think about them. And I think for some of you, like, once again, it was that it was that fear. There was some kind of um, I don't know. I I really think it may have been an ex that played a major role in the demise of this connection. Or like, I don't know. It it doesn't feel like it was that bad. Like, with the everything is fine. If it was just a straight ten of swords, it'd be like fuck this person, right? But <laughs> since it's the everything is fine, it doesn't really feel like the ending was that bad, but I almost feel like somebody's fear or somebody's um, refusal to let go of the past, whether it's like letting go of your person's ex or them letting go of their ex, which I think it was more of you, honest to God. Like, I think this was you who was like afraid of somebody's ex or like you were worried about somebody's ex. 
this fear or this worry completely and totally influenced your decision and your you know your decision making and ultimately is what caused the end of this relationship like you may have done something that was ultimately rooted in a worry or a fear about this person having maybe a third party or an ex but that action that you took out of fear may have ended this connection So it's like some of you are wanting to let go of these control issues and the need to um, maybe control this situation or this person, right? You're letting go of that. You're letting go of that worry and that fear and it's opening you up to have a more lighthearted connection with this person because guys, the attraction is still there. And I think for some of you, it's gonna be made very clear through a friend. Like you're gonna have a friend tell you like, hey, so-and-so was talking about you the other day. You know what I mean? Or, or something of that nature. Like it feels like there's some gossip, a little bit of chisme here and there. I don't know if some of you guys are Hispanic like myself, but we call it chisme. So if you, you know, hear some, some chisme from your friends, it might be about this person. And that might be what kind of starts this connection again. Is like you, it's like a word of mouth, very much like word of mouth. Somebody says something about your person and how they've been talking about you or they bring them up and then it's like all of these memories start to come back right like some of you may even remember exactly how they smell right because we love those pheromones that's what i'm hearing somebody loves somebody's pheromones <laughs> um, but the energy that binds the two of you is playfulness so i definitely do sense a new and a much more light-hearted connection where at one point there was a lot of worry there was a lot of fear there was a lot of disconnect with the eight of cups um it's like both parties weren't fully invested you know what i mean whereas like now i think both parties are willing to do the work with the Eight of Pentacles being here twice. So it's a really, really great energy that I'm seeing here. I think that there's a lot of flirtation that's gonna be happening in the month of May. Um, it feels really lighthearted, it feels very spunky, it feels exciting, and it feels fun. So I think you guys have a lot to look forward to this month. But that is what I'm seeing here. If you'd like to book a personal reading, go ahead and click the link down below in the description box. It'll take you to my website and you can book there. But other than that, I'll see you later. Take care and have a beautiful rest of your month, Leo. Bye-bye.